Back in July 2019, I bought this generation iPhone off of eBay for $50. And over time, it has seen some breakage because back in 2022, for some reason, when I was trying to repair it, place something in the back housing, I managed to break the connector that connects the housing to the actual phone itself. So therefore, the power button, headphone jack, and volume buttons, and slider have all been broken since 2022. And I also updated this phone back to iPhone OS 3.1.3 because I was having a lot of problems on firmware 1.0. That I've since later found fixes to. But I want to downgrade this thing back to firmware 1.0 and I also want this thing to have a working power button. So without further ado, I decided to go ahead and buy a replacement housing off of eBay and fix this. As you can tell, this is an 8 gigabyte iPhone housing that's in slightly better condition than mine. And this phone is already powered off because it's been flat and I decided that because this power button doesn't work and, and I would otherwise have to shut off the computer program, I decided just to wait to charge this thing until after I fix it. So all I need to do is just take my SIM injector tool, get this SIM card popped out. I forgot how stubborn this thing is. All right, there we go. That's in car result, so it doesn't necessarily matter. And as you can tell, here's the broken housing. But now we have the actual phone itself, which is disassembled. So let's go ahead and let's place a new housing on. Now I don't have to, any of the screws for this thing. So remember where this thing uh, connects right here. Okay, so let me just go ahead and remember to connect this carefully. <laughs> I finally got that SIM card rearranged. So now I'm going to see if this power button works just by testing out to see if it shows bad or flat. Okay, no, this thing is totally flat. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and charge this phone up. And then tomorrow I'll come back here and I'll try to downgrade this thing for more 1.0 to celebrate. This, the original iPhone recently turned having its 18th anniversary. Oh, I am, although I forgot to film this earlier, so I'm filming this during the downgrade process, but it is not a tutorial. So if you want a tutorial, an actual tutorial, I will link the one that I made up here. And just like that, this iPhone has been detected by iTunes. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter DFE mode once again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, if you waiting for iPod. All right. We're getting somewhere, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit shift and restore. And this is the IPSW you want, so I'll go ahead and open. And now we'll go ahead and restore to iFormer 1.0. So I'll go ahead and get back to you once this thing entered. Is recovery mode and I'll have to exit with the iPhone, which hopefully I will be doing. So it's the next day and I, and this iPhone, first of all, is now in recovery mode for some reason, so I have to get that out. But firstly, basically what I need to do is I need to downgrade my version of iTunes so that way I can use the iPhone because I believe that is a, probably a big issue in that because iTunes 12 likely does not work well with the iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File Explorer, go to Music, iTunes, iTunes, and then I'm going to right click it, delete, delete yes, 
All right, so now I'm going to go into Control Panel, Uninstall Program, and I'm going to go uninstall everything and publish by Apple. So I'll get back to you once that's done. Now that I've gotten everything uninstalled by Apple, I'm going to go ahead and open up the iTunes 7.6 installer, which is a version that was recommended to use with the iPhone. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through the installation process now. iTunes 7.6 has now been installed, so I'll go ahead and hit finish and it should go ahead and open up. And as you can tell, it is opening up. So now I'm going to check to see if my iPhone will connect. My share of software is not successfully installed. Okay, it's contacting the iPhone software update server. I imagine that will fail. Okay, it's still detected anywho, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the iPhone now. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click show. I'm gonna change it to normal mode. All right, there we go, I got it to connect. Okay, so basically because of this iPhone screw up housing as a result, I do not think tape is going to I don't think it's going to connect well with tape, so... Alright, I think it is being detected. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to open up Z iPhone again. Close. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and hit Jailbreak Plus Activate. As you can tell, just like that, this iPhone is now running firmware 1.0. So, as always, thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes fanboy, and as always, peace out.